Ladies and gentlemen, although I am not able to join you here in person today, I am grateful for this opportunity to address you on the occasion of the Healthy Workplaces 2015 Summit. Stress is one of the most challenging issues at work. Every second worker in Europe today considers stress to be common in their workplace. It contributes to around half of all lost working days. It goes without saying that this can bear a huge cost to the individual in terms of health and quality of life, but also to employers in terms of keeping their companies productive. Work-related ill health can cost European member states anything from 2.6 to 3.8% of their GDP, according to a study of our European Agency for Safety and Health at Work. We need to take concerted action for healthy workplaces, including for mental health at work. That is why I want to say a word of praise in particular about the 2014-15 campaign on managing stress at work. Like many other issues surrounding mental health, stress is often misunderstood or stigmatized. Creating space to talk about mental health issues is crucial in this respect. Companies, in particular the smaller ones, need to know what available tools exist and can be successful applied to their workplace. Investing in prevention pays off and is highly cost effective. I believe this year's campaign has greatly contributed to the raising awareness across Europe about what companies can do to better manage stress at the workplace and organize its prevention. European labour markets are changing fast in the face of technological innovation, modernization, and globalization. To protect our workers against the risks of today and tomorrow, it is necessary also to keep our legislation up to date. Since day one, the Commission has been working to deliver on this front, and in the Commission Work Programme for 2016, I am very pleased to tell you that every initiative that will be tabled will be sealed by a strong social dimension. I wish you all a successful event and look forward to hearing the outcome of your discussions. Thank you.